Hey guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what is on my Samsung S21 Ultra. And I'm very, very excited to be showing you guys this today because it has been highly requested on some of my other videos. So I'm very, very excited to do this video for you guys today. I know that I have been unactive for about a month now and I really, really do apologize about that. I'm just very, very excited to get back on track, especially, you know, with doing more videos. I have a lot of more exciting videos coming up. Up. So I'm very very excited if you guys just stay tuned for that and I just want to thank you so much to all my subscribers who were still here for me even though I was a month unactive but thank you so much for I believe it's 1270 subscribers mind blown. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. So I do have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and guys, I've had this phone for about, I believe, five to seven months now. I don't remember to be honest, but I absolutely love this phone. There has been no disappointments for me whatsoever. Now I do have two cases for this phone and that is the clear one that I currently have on right now with these Umbrella Corporation Resident Evil stickers. If you guys don't know where this is from seriously you need to start playing those games because oh my god i literally finished the new resident evil that came out on xbox and i have a problem and also i do have this really nice silicone case with cat ears on it i just thought it was really cute and i just like the feeling of it and it's very protective as well but i really do love my clear cases with stickers i did get these stickers on redbubble so i will go ahead and put the redbubble website in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check out any stickers from any movies that you love i'm pretty pretty sure they have the stickers in the movies that you love for some reason i was trying to screen record even my lock screen and for some reason I was having trouble with that but I'll go ahead and show that in a different clip okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with the lock screen I do have the always on display if you guys are Samsung users you know what I mean the always on display is just when your phone is off it just displays like a little picture or a gif or a text message you can definitely change these in the settings if you guys want me to do a features video with this phone I will definitely do that for you guys so I do have the time the date and the day and also my fingerprint scanner and also the charge now I do also have a picture that's like a message from God that says don't give up I really really like those motivational sayings especially from God they motivate me to get me in everyday life whenever I just feel like giving up so of course if I double tap it does turn on my phone and I do have my lock screens and the cool thing about Samsung I don't know if iPhone does this is that you can set up at least two 15 wallpapers papers on the Samsung lock screen so every time you turn off your phone and you turn it on there's always a new wallpaper there available I do have some attractions I do have a mr. Tom Holland I do have Kean and JC basically like my favorite youtubers and mostly I do have godly sayings like a scripture if you have a Samsung device already upgraded with its UI I definitely recommend putting any type of lock screen wallpapers that you desire it's just awesome I thought that was really cool because I was a person who would stress like no I want this as my wallpaper no I want this as my wallpaper but now that issue is solved okay so now that we already got the lock screen out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and move this way so we can go ahead and show you the home screen I'm gonna scooch this way okay so I do already have my home screen we're gonna go ahead and start on the left side of the phone and here basically it's nothing crazy nothing too dramatic I do have my Google search bar just in case if I ever need to search up something really fast I know that it's already there and I don't have to go to the internet or look for the app Google like I really really like that I have the search right there I do have my calendar yes it is displayed in August 2021 because in the June and July I don't want you guys to see that because I do have personal like information on there and stuff so I mostly just have my calendar here you can make your calendar black or white and you can make it as transparent as possible I just like to keep it a little bit transparent so you can see my wallpaper in the back okay so I do have the main home page now and my background is a really nice like black ombre uh, background with stars in it so I think that's really really nice so I do have of course my weather it just lets me the 
the, the weather, um, what day, what time, and it does have a little refresh button there to tell me like you should refresh, maybe there's been some changes in the weather. I always like to check that whenever I'm going to go out, if I ever need a umbrella, even though El Paso's weather is really bipolar, so... That's very, very handy. I do have a really nice picture here of Hogwarts. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, if you did not know, and I just really, really like the aesthetic of Hogwarts. Overall, just Harry Potter, I really, really like that, like, castle aesthetic type vibe, and it just makes me really, really happy. And I am a Gryffindor, so you guys let me know, comment down below, what is your house? I would really, really love to know. Now, I do also have this other wedge that this is from a Holy Bible app, and it they had wedges where it could be like oh know the daily verse of the day so I love to keep that as well because I always like to pray and then see what the verse of the day is and get motivated with that through the whole day so I think that's really really convenient at least for me okay so now we're gonna go ahead and start with apps I do have my Instagram if you are not following me on Instagram I don't know what you're doing. I just like to post a lot of good pictures because again, I'm trying to be also a model. So just go give my Instagram some love. I would really, really appreciate if you guys follow me on there. And yes, I do have my YouTube link in my bio on Instagram. Now that I think about it, I really don't have as much pictures, so I really need to start posting again on Instagram. Now, I do have my Snapchat. Of course, I'm not going to open that because that is a little bit personal. I do have my personal Snapchat on display at the moment. So I do have my Snapchat. I do have a red folder that is specifically for YouTube and my YouTube studio. So YouTube is one of like the main apps that I use all the time because I really, really like to watch videos. And more videos will be coming out soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and also push that notification bell whenever I do post a new video okay so I do have messenger of course something personal as well I do have my Facebook as well personal as well and I do have Busu if you guys don't know what Busu is it is a language learning app again me I'm trying to teach myself how to speak French and also you can even do live lessons with actual French teachers uh, Spanish teachers with the language that you're teaching you can even have like videos video chat online lessons and learn from there too so I think that's really really cool I did do one video lesson that one time and I really really did enjoy it because she was really nice and she just helped me with all my bad pronunciation because trust me I have a lot of bad pronunciation in French sometimes especially when it comes to learning a new language of course the traditional TikTok you guys should definitely go ahead and follow me on TikTok I really like most of the time yeah I do some videos but at the same time, I really don't do as much because I mostly like to watch other people's TikTok. Now, I do have a folder that's only for shopping. Yes, guys, I like to shop, but I'm not a shop fanatic. Trust me. I just like sometimes like to look through these apps to see what's new, what I can heart when later on if I want to buy something. So I do have Amazon. I do not know who doesn't have Amazon. So Amazon is very beneficial for me and my family. I really, really do like Amazon. I do have Dick's Sporting Goods. I am a huge fan when it comes to looking at shoes when it comes to looking at gym wear I do have my old navy app I do have Rome we oh my god if you guys do not know what Rome we is please please go get it it's a really good app with like very inexpensive clothes but like we're talking like good clothes and I did buy a lot of clothes from Rome we recently and I just really love the brand overall they're really good material believe it or not I think this is from Rome we I have Shein. I have both and I believe it's like the same company but I'm not sure they have overall really nice things which I personally love like oh my god like I already want to heart some of these things because they're so so nice like I really really love the streetwear fashion so this is definitely for me as well as always I do have my Nike app I really really love Nike as well because I am a shoe geek I love shoes so we gotta you know see what if there's any new shoes popping up later on, if there's like just overall any sweet deals, any nice leggings. I also do have this app that I rarely use that is called Shop. Now Shop, it just tracks what you've been ordering from Amazon, from Shein, from Nike. It just tells you a little bit more in detail where your packages are, how's your shipments doing. So I rarely use that app. I do have Nike sneakers. Now this is again where they would tell me a timely update when my, when like 
like new sneakers would come in and just tell me like oh these are coming up so I, I better be notified so hopefully I have enough time to buy them like guys these shoes they sell out so fast fast but I recommend that you guys check it out especially if you are a shoe geek like I am so I also do have Foot Locker Stock X and Goat Stock X and Goat they're very expensive shoes but they have the shoes that like right now that are sold out for example the Jordan ones I do have Rack Room shoes Rack Room also is a really good store to go to when it comes to shoes I do shop there too for some sandals or overall even sport shoes Converse I do have my Pinterest and I also do do have Redbubble. Redbubble is the app that I was telling you guys about where I did get all my good stickers. So like I told you, like I really am in love with Tom Holland and Harry Potter. So as you can tell, all these stickers that I have hearted that I might get later on and put them like on some really nice decor. So I recommend that you guys just search up any like movie, any person that you really, really like. And I believe that they will have stickers of them, merch of them. Okay, so I do have pretty little things, of course they have really really nice clothes. They also do have Fashion Nova. I feel like I don't really have to go into detail about those apps because I feel like everybody knows who those apps are or who that brand is. I do have Nasty Gal. Zafu I really don't use as much. It's like another Shein and Romwe but they have really really good clothes there too. As always PacSun. DSW does have really really good shoes as well so I just have it there when I just want to look at shoes. Same thing with Macy's. I feel like everybody has eBay, so I just have eBay there too. Low key, I just have eBay there, you know, like for some Harry Potter ones. And Fetch Rewards is just a really good app when it comes to saving receipts and getting points for them for you to get like special prizes and special gift cards. Now I do have Instacart, and Instacart is just another like food type delivery app. And I do recommend it as well if you live far from a Sprouts, if you live far from all those like really, really good good um, markets that you absolutely love definitely get instacart I do have Hobby Lobby because my mom and me always love to go to Hobby Lobby and of course I do have the Walmart app and lastly I do have Poshmark now I do have my self-care folder and I do have my Samsung health with all of my health information Samsung does have a little program within its phones I do have oral B app because I did recently purchase an electronic toothbrush and I'm absolutely in love with it, it just tells me how's my gum progress, how's my teeth progress, so I really really do like the Oral-B app. I do have Nike training app and whenever I can't go to the gym, I always like to you know see the workouts that they have on here on the workout Nike app. They always have new workouts posted since now they even have like really good smoothie recipes, they have really really good trainers, also really really good with yoga, I just, I just love this Nike training app. I do have the Nike Run Club where you would just uh, turn on the app whenever you're gonna go for a run. I do have Intellect and that is like a good therapy journal slash type uh, app that asks you how are you feeling today, how are you doing today. So you can tell I haven't logged in because I barely downloaded it yesterday. I do also have Gymshark training. Their training is intense and what I like about it is that it asks you what are you mostly in love to train with, what is the less days you hate working out. They ask you like a huge questionnaire and then they give you awesome workouts. We do have a tropical cafe with just a place with smoothies. So if I ever just want to see what smoothies they got, just boom and then go get it because <laughs> tropical cafe smoothies are really good I do have whisk I believe that's how you pronounce it it just has a lot of really good healthy recipes that if you are on a diet if you're on a specific diet or trying to improve your diet they even ask you another questionnaire are you on a low carb are you on a keto same with superfood it's another good uh, ingredient app that I really really like as well and I just really want to try new things guys especially like since we're still kind of in quarantine learn some new recipes now lastly I do have this app that is called better me and it is just first they ask you a questionnaire about your personal fitness plan and once you do they'll give you like fastening tips they'll give you recommendations for your workouts what you should be eating every day um, how much water you drank and also your walking goal step then I also do have my school app so I do have blackboard I feel like every student knows what blackboard is especially when you use it 
for your classes online so i like blackboard just to check my grades i do have forest if nobody uses forest while you're doing work it's basically just an app that will block out all distractions and social medias while you're doing your homework i have mathway to help me with math i do have calc chat because there's some certain textbooks where i need help with specific problems so it asks you what book you have what section and what question do you need help on once you click that certain question it will show you all the work on how to do it and it even has videos to explain on how you do it as well so i think that's really really awesome so I do have my bottom apps right here. I do of course have my cell phone, my messages, my camera, and here is where I have my editing when it comes to doing thumbnails, when it comes to fixing a little bit of pictures, when it comes to all of those amazing editing filters. So I do have PixArt. I do have snow. I usually use PicMonkey and Canva to do my thumbnails. So if you guys want a video on that as well, I will definitely do that for you guys. I do have InstaSize and Layout. Now I do have another folder what is just music. So I do have my YouTube music, my Spotify, which of course if you are a student, you do get a big discount with that. I do have Google Podcasts. So I really, really like this app as well because you can just search up a lot of different podcasts. I've been starting to get in love with podcasts and Spotify does have a lot of podcasts as well. And I do have Shazam. Now we do have the last side of my phone, which is the right side. I do have my gallery. I do have my church app, which is the Abundant Living Church. Of course, I do have my Holy Bible that I always like to read verses from. I do have a specific section just for Harry Potter. And I do have the Harry Potter spells and puzzles and my Harry Potter fan club sign in of course i have among us i love playing among us i have episode i have roblox because i only play roblox with my little sister because she absolutely loves roblox so much i do have netflix eight ball pool i mostly play with my dad i do have nest and I have Zedge. Now, if you don't know what Zedge is, Zedge is a really good app for wallpapers. I recommend that you get this app because they have really good HD wallpapers. I do have Roku because, of course, I like to watch TV and it just helps me when I can't find my remote. I have my remote electronically. I have the Galaxy Store. I have eHome Light and that just helps me with my LED lights at night when of course I can't even find my controller for that sometimes. And I have my Play Store. And lastly, I do have another wedge that came from the Holy Bible. It's the same one that came with the one that was on my lock screen but they had another different type of wedge. I really really do like having the wedge here with the verse. Okay, I want to scooch back. I'm going to scooch back. It's getting a little hot in here. And all right guys, so that was my what is on my S21 Ultra. Nothing too crazy, but something simple just to show you what I do usually keep on my phone. Please make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. And if you guys don't know, my music was made by Music Studio FX. So thank you so much Music Studio FX for making the amazing background music. A lot of more more tunes are coming on soon. If you guys want to go check out more tunes that Music Studio Effects did do, I definitely recommend checking the link in the description box below to check out their website. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day, evening, or night, whatever day you guys are watching this on. Bye guys!